Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to continue working with our acid-base titration reactions where we're neutralizing uh, one of the reactants. And we're going to work this problem on the board to give us more practice. And it says, how many milliliters of 0 0.0195 molar hydrochloric acid are needed to titrate 25 milliliters of 0 0.0365 molar uh, potassium hydroxide? And that's, of course, an aqueous solution, just like the hydrochloric acid is always an aqueous solution. So the question is, we're trying to find out how much of the acid, if you really want to boil this down to just sort of a common theme, how many milliliters of a certain concentration acid do we need to actually titrate, which means to neutralize, to neutralize this much of this concentration of hydrochloric acid? So you need to think one step at a time. I mean, you know ultimately you want to see how much acid you need to add to how much of this base in order to neutralize it. That's what you're really doing. The only thing that makes it a little more challenging is that you're not dealing with moles here and moles there. You're dealing with how much of a volume of a certain molarity. So don't forget, anytime you read something like this, 0 0.0365 molar uh, KOH, what you really should be saying to yourself is 0 0.0365 moles per liter. That's the concentration of this, of this uh, base here. This one here is 0 0.0195 moles per liter of hydrochloric acid. So that means that in this uh, flask or in this uh, container, 0 0.0195 moles of hydrochloric acid for every liter of solution. So you need to think about molarity in terms of moles per liter. It really helps you understand what you're trying to do. So we need to write a chemical reaction to, f to be able to get anywhere in this problem. Uh, we know we have hydrochloric acid and we're trying to titrate or to neutralize uh, potassium hydroxide. So what we're going to do is write that down. So let's say uh, hydrochloric acid plus potassium hydroxide. What do you think that's going to actually yield? Uh, well, this is an acid and this is the base. So what you would expect is if you look at this, we have hydrogen and chlorine here, and we have potassium and then a hydroxide. This kind of is bound together as a hydroxide here. So what, what you should sort of be becoming, uh, begin to be realizing with all these problems is that when you have an acid combining with a base, what you're going to want to form is water. Because the, the acid here is donating this hydrogen, which is uh, a positive ion, and the base is donating this OH, which is a hydroxide, it's a negative ion. So the H is going to want to combine with the OH, HOH, anytime you see HOH you should think H2O, right? So that's forming water. The only other stuff left in solution is the chlorine um, and the potassium. So you're going to have potassium uh, and combining with the chlorine. 